Hi, this is Presh Talker. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can calculate the day of the week that New Year's happens until the year 2099. The easiest way to do this is to use a spreadsheet or to use a website like Wolfram Alpha. Wolfram Alpha is very easy to use. You simply type in the date and it will tell you the day of the week. So 2015, the new year starts on a Thursday. But how can we do this in our head? Let's try and find a pattern in the day that the new year starts. In 2001, the new year started on a Monday. In 2002, it started on a Tuesday. In 2003, it started one day ahead, which is Wednesday. In 2004, the new year also started one day ahead on Thursday. So by this pattern, you would think that 2005 started on a Friday. But it in fact started on a Saturday. And the reason for this is that 2004 was a leap year and that extra day in the leap year pushed the new year to start one day ahead. So we have a general rule that every year pushes the new year to start one day ahead, except a leap year, it will start two days ahead. In the year 2000, which was also a leap year, it would have started two days before Monday, which is a Saturday. And we can see the pattern will continue as we continue the years. So we wanna come up with a mathematical formula to calculate the day the new year starts. A preliminary is we're going to make numerical codes for each of the days, Sunday being a zero and Saturday being a six. There's some mnemonics you can use to remember this, like Sunday is sans day, Monday is one day, Tuesday is Tuesday, Wednesday is trebles day, Thursday is fours day, Friday is five day, and Saturday is six a day. So now let's try and come up with a numerical formula to come up with the day that the new year starts given the year 2000YY. So we know we want to start out with the new year, the day that it started in 2000, plus we're going to add one day for every additional year beyond the year 2000. So that's 2000YY minus 2000. We also want to add in an extra day for the number of leap years. So we can simplify this formula. In 2000, we know the new year started on a Saturday, which is a 6. 2000YY minus 2000 will just be YY. And the number of leap years can be found by dividing YY divided by 4 and rounding it up, because 2000 was also a leap year. So in order to convert this into a day code, we want to take this modulo 7. In other words, we take the remainder upon dividing by 7 because we want the number to be between 0 and 6. So let's try out this formula. It looks complicated, but it'd actually be something that's very simple and you can do it in your head. So let's do the new year. Let's see which day the new year 2017 will start it. We start out with the 6 in the formula. The 17 we add to 6, and 17 divided by 4, rounded up, will be 5. So we add 6, 17, and 5 to get 28. When we divide this by 7, there's a remainder of 0. So the, the day code will be 0, and that means 2017 will start on a Sunday. And you can actually check this. This is a correct formula, and it works. So this was not too hard, but you saw the numbers were getting bigger. So one adjustment is we'll change the 6 into a negative 1, because 6 and negative 1 are the same when you consider the remainder by 7. There's another trick we can do, so let's try the new year of 2071. We have a negative 1, and then for 71 we put in plus 71. So instead of keeping track of big numbers and adding them, we'll just add these two right now in our head. So negative 1 plus 71 is 70, 
And we can in fact just look at the remainder by 7 right now. When we divide 70 by 7, we get 0. So that whole term vanishes. The final term is 71 divided by 4 rounded up, which is 18. We then consider the remainder of this from 7, which is 4. So that means 4 is our day code, and therefore 2071 will start on a Thursday. So this formula is something that you can use. It's actually a pretty fun formula. You can take any year from 2000 and 2099 and figure out when the new year started. And once you know this trick, you can actually extend it to find the day of any date. And if you're interested, I'll make a future video on that. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. You can support me on Patreon. Catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, on Twitter at Presh Talwalker. And you can get my books listed on my website.